Hey, it was the wounded knight who's borne the rowing shield. Loud and cruel were the raven's cries that feasted on the fields. Saying, therefore, to cold and clear, we'll never clean your wound. There's none but the witch of the west, more late, who can make the air and sound. So turn, turn your stallion's head, till his red mane flies in the wind. And the rider of the moon goes by, the bright star falls behind. And clear was the peeling moon, when a shadow passed him by. Below the hills were the brightest stars, when he heard the owl cry. Saying, why do you ride this way, and wherefore came you here? I seek the witch of the west northern, who dwells by the winding mere. It's weary by the elves' water in the misty break fern way, till through the cleft in the crookstone pass the winding water lay. He said, Lie down by Brindle's mound and rest you, my good grey hawk, and be my steed, may grace thy fill, for I must dismount and walk. But come when you hear my horn and answer swift the call. For sure as the sun will rise this morn, you shall serve me best of all. And it's down to the water's brim, he's borne the rowan shield, and the golden rod he has cast in, to see what the lake might yield. And wet rose she from the lake, and fast and fleet went she, one half the form of a maiden fair, with a jet black mare's body. And loud, long, and shrilly blew, till his steed was by his side. High overhead the grey hawk flew, as swiftly he did ride. He said, course well, my brindled hound, and fetch me the jet black mare. Stoop and strike me, good grey hawk, and bring me the maiden fair. She said, pray sheath thy silvery sword, lay down my ruined shield. For I see by the briny blood that flows, you've been wounded in the field. And she stood in a gown of a velvet blue, bound round with a silver chain. She's kissed his pale lips once and twice, and three times round again. And she's bound his wound with a golden rod, full fast in her arms he lay. And he has his pain and sound with the sun high in the day. She said, pride with your brindled hound at heel. And your good grey hawk at hand, there's none can harm the knight who's lain with the witch of the Westmoreland.